We need to be broken for the lost. Call sin, sin. But the posture of our hearts is the issue. When, when Jonah was told to preach repentance to Nineveh, he preached it and he went up and sat on a mountain ready to watch a fireworks show and eat some popcorn. And he found a nice shade, shady weed, and enjoyed his comfort, excited. It's the last days. Judgment's coming. Ha, ha, ha. I can't wait to see. And the Lord said, you know what? I'm going to send a worm to take away his comfort. And that worm came and ate. And suddenly, Jonah was uncomfortable. It was hot. And why has the fire come yet? Why is the fire of judgment? And God says, you're more concerned about your comfort and than you are about these Ninevites that I created in my image. Than these Assyrians, these Syrians, these Muslims that I created in my image. These lost people, these homosexuals that I created in my image. That lost got to stop being angry at them and be angry at the devil. I know that sounded dead. I said devil. That makes me sound like a backwoods hick. (laughs) We got to get on our knees and pray and seek his face. We have to. It's not about winning an argument. It's about having the heart of God. It's about having his arm for the lost. It's about being, having anxiety over that. Stop having anxiety over, over, my, over our finances and have anxiety about a lost world. Have anxiety for people whose eternities are gone, who are buying into this garbage. loves. He loves. Father, forgive us for our selfishness, for our apathy, for our judgmentalism. Help us, Lord, to know your word and to know your heart and to speak the truth and to live the truth and be the truth. Lord, use us. Anoint us. Not in our own strength. We need you. Bring the lost. Give us a heart for the lost. May we break for the lost. (laughs) 